Okay. Uh, let's see. Microphone input working. Yep. Yeah. Might be a little too much actually. Uh, Hello? Is there no sound or something? <laughs> okay, hold on. And uh, I can't. I don't know where the sound is coming from. Like either the feedback stream or the main PC. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Okay, it's uh, the, the sound is working, so it's just my feedback PC. Okay. That's it's uh, it, it's just my feedback PC that's not working. Well, the sound. Uh, okay, so I'll restart it, and uh, I guess I'll I can still use it for uh, keeping an eye on the chat box. Uh, is it everyone? Yeah, it'd be everything. So, okay, 
let's finally start. And this is the test file I did earlier, so I can just delete it. You can record it, let's say. Uh, yeah. And let's go. And adventure, yes. Oh right, I said it for the monster. Said it for the monster hunter language, <laughs> which actually I think I'm gonna go with this time. Yeah, I mean the English time is okay, but uh, I, I already know all the text, so. <laughs> Hmm. Would it, would it work though? Because there's uh, unlike previous Monster Hunter games, it's you not know, like the text isn't always taking the center of the screen, so... Ah. Well, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell whether this is just the uh, monster language or he's just slurring from getting drunk. <laughs> Okay, so character. I'm just gonna re uh, recreate my uh, previous character from PS4. Uh, I think it's just based on this preset, but it doesn't really matter once we, once we actually get around it. Uh, let me just Alt Tab and check face page one and number one. That's the page. And that, that's the face. Okay, so. Skin, uh, let's go a little 10. Oh, that age and wrinkles. Nah, I don't know either of them. Hairstyle, uh, hairstyle is this one. Color, uh, black, but I like it with a little bit of a dark green tint although i think you can uh, i'm pretty sure you can change the hair color later anyway so but no so. the color saturation uh-huh strong green and then barely noticeable tint yep oh, damn it I got raised. There we go. Eyebrows. This, this, at least that's the one. 
boost. Ice. Uh, this one. In here and here. I think. Eyelash long. My color. That's just. I will just go with black. I forgot the position. I drew a mark down. A little slightly high should be okay. Mm. Position. There we go. Up. I forgot, but but I start with uh, some freckles. And their color, little okay. Should be enough and brightness a little bit of mm -hmm. glossy, metallic, transparency. Uh, makeup can be changed later on as well, so doesn't really matter. Yeah, it should be okay. Russian, that's just number one. Clothing, that's default. There's like two types of right? Uh, I think this is good enough. Voice. Uh, let's type 10. Default armor, leather, chainmail, no armor, and origin. That's the pre-order DLC. I actually did not get on the PS4 version, even though I, even though I did pre-order it. Uh, um, uh, I don't know the shipment problems or something. But okay, now that I have, finally have the option, let's start with it. Uh, okay, looking good. Finish. Still, yes. And finally, the main character. Her pattern I see ears. Always go for the Scottish fold. And eyes. Uh, no, I want my kitty to look very, you know, eager eyed. So, 
bright one. Green, uh, need to be a little brighter. Right, there we go. Mm hmm. This one is also. I think this is fine. Uh, ears, tail. Hmm. That's a uh, big, but I guess I'll go with the long, bushy one. Fur. Uh, that's uh, that's a tough pick. <laughs> Your no, I want a fluffy one. Long. Earth thickness. Uh, I can't exactly tell because I'm not playing at maximum <laughs> resolutions or anything. Thick fur. It doesn't look that thick, but yeah, whatever. White. Uh, no. Uh, hue concentration. Is good. Pattern. Uh, hmm. Uh, looks okay. Well, now I gotta give it a little bit of a point. So this or two. Those are the arm marking and. Go for a brighter color like this. A yellowish. Yeah, sure. And part three, those are the leg markings. Brown, brown white, gray, and uh, a. Yeah, black stripes, sure. Why not? Or. Wait. No, gray like the oh, gray. No, it's dark gray. The dark gray like the there as well. Um Hey, that should be what no pattern? Oh it's complete white. Okay. Eh, I guess I'll give it a little bit of a point. Yeah, I don't, I don't need some, I don't need any, we just, nah. Okay, that's good. Uh, and I'm pretty sure somebody will make a uh, character edit mod sooner or later anyway, so. Fur pattern, eyes, ears, tail, clothing. Uh, <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, how about yellow or maybe blue? Or yeah, red kitty. Why not? Oh, default armor, leather and no one. Ah, cool leather. Voice. Hmm, that's how I like my kitty. What about the other dude? Bit gruffy? More gruffy. <laughs> Finish. Uh... What 
Well, ain't that the million dollar question? <laughs> uh... Uh, uh, I don't know, I'll just go with uh, whatever I went with last time. Uh, yeah. Let's come with this character. Yes. I just noticed that the makeup is actually a little too glossy. <laughs> I'll just fix that later. <laughs> yeah, really, really glossy makeup there. Is that even possible for makeup? I don't know anything about it. Is that even possible for makeup to be that glossy? Yeah, just a heads up, I, I just cannot reach uh, 60 frames per second. I mean, the game runs fine, generally, but <laughs> it, it just isn't happening with my hardware. But hey, that, even if uh, it runs at the same frame rate as uh, my PS4 version, this, um, this version still has a lot of advantages, so I'm not complaining.
<laughs> well, <laughs> caring to two of you. We don't have any weapons, so we'll do the exploration later. Where are you? By Lily. And it can uh, recover some of your life in an emergency, so they're good to have. <laughs> well, if they're in the area, you can bring them, but if they're in the area, just remember to use them well.
Uh, run, 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 run. And crouch. You, you can actually use uh, this trick, like hiding in bushes, to de aggro uh, while fighting giant monsters as well. But uh, I think some monsters are a little smart and they at least try to uh, walk over to where you last were. So it's not a foolproof uh, option. Climb? What do you mean climb? There we go. ハクトミアダモレージ。パシファファレリトアステラ。レリトアステラ。シソドレオジガハイ。ミエラタ。Let's see, Naramo. Fumi! Go! 
ハーク。ルー。ゲムラニ。ノタソミ。もうなくいら。国品には。ラグヒビ。Oh, right. <laughs> the shot guards aren't open yet. There was a network problem, so ah, I'll just upload the backup file. No worries. ラーダ。虹空マグダラウス。ノラ。と、ソドレ、エクトルティ、メベリー。ビシアラ、オデジレハデラーダ。タク。オガドシラディアイ。ね、ソドレ、エミクテミラ。モキオシジメブ。ル
ジャグラス敵押しかスデキーラガースイガスミエラユモホシスーゼナグスーとミーシルトウィーレイソドレメリモーケーシキメラーグシフクールゼキフィツイいいがアリメルスローク、アキーラ、レジアケゼートキ、ケナ、オール、うう、ゼホ。And here's our quarters. Alpha Kideki, Rube Hai. Okay, let's pick a weapon. Uh, 14 hunter weapons. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. We start hit with devastating foes while the sword and shield offer quick mobile flurries. Heavy bow gun while only fire powerful. Anyone you want to take the field. The training area. Yeah, we can, there's a training area as well. I guess uh, we'll, go, we'll go to that briefly. I'm speaking to the housekeeper. Yeah. Armor sets are combined of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills. Mm hmm. to earn skills and see if equipment loads us quickly. So you know. Mm hmm. Mm. Sword and shield is very easy to use and very versatile as well. Uh, and then the only downside to how I like to play is that it's. Uh, it's a little, well, pretty low on reach. It's very short. Uh, dual blades. Uh, they have about the same range as uh, sword and shield, but they can rack up a lot of uh, uh, a lot of hits that are like weak on their own, but they rack up really quickly. Uh, this is a long sword, and this is actually. Uh, like when I when I played the Beastor version, like the longsword was in the most popular, like most commonly used uh, list. It's at the top of the list for like God, <laughs> God knows how many weeks. Great sword. Uh, great sword is very heavy and takes. Uh, uh, but it's not exactly a beginner friendly weapon, and you need you need to play at its own pace. <laughs> Hammer. Hammer is, a, hammer is a simple weapon as well. Uh, it has the charge mechanic and it can like... Like it's a blunt damage so... Like I think that and the hammer and... The hunting horn are the only weapons that deal blunt damage as a default. So they can hit... Uh, Monster with uh, tougher monster parts that uh, these bladed weapons can't normally pierce. Lance, I haven't used all that much. I use gun lance and it's pretty good. Uh, lance and gun lance, they, they have shields that block just almost everything in the game and they're uh, with, this, uh, with an armor skill that you can get near end game. It can, it can block just it can block pretty much everything. Uh, I think except for that one monster, but eh, we'll get it later. Which axe I haven't practiced a whole lot. Charge blade or charge axe. Uh, charge blade 
it's it's one of the most technical weapons among the 14 because like it has a like not only does it have like two modes like you know the sword and shield mode and the axe mode but those uh it, it has like it has uh file mechanics and you have to learn how to chain those moves and how to transform between the two two modes efficiently as well uh it's very uh, very powerful if you're gonna learn the move set uh, this is Insect Glaive. It's it's primarily an aerial weapon. Uh, you can uh, you can use this if you like uh, if you like to attack from the air and mount monsters and knock them down. Uh, uh, this is the light bow gun and this is the heavy bow gun. Uh, they have some ammo differences, but they play. Uh, like they play in the third person view. Bow, bow is kind of like a bow is kind of like a midpoint between these bow guns and the, the other melee weapons because it it gets the it gets the bow the uh, the same defense bonus as uh, other melee weapons, but it's a mid range weapon. With diff uh, different coatings to add special effects. Uh, for now, oh yeah, I haven't talked about the hunting horn. It's it's similar to the hammer, but while the hammer is focused on charge attacks and dealing a lot of damage to, to like primarily the head, uh, hunting horn also hunting horn is also best aimed at the head, but it has uh. It has melodies that can that can apply to pretty much everybody in the hearing range with an earshot. It's a very good uh, support weapon. But for now, I haven't played the Insect Glaive for a long time, so I'll go with that. Armor set, I'm just gonna go with the DLC armor set. Here we go. <laughs> it's really furnished at the most. Manage and change gear. So you don't mind changing in front of others because you have roommates. <laughs> Did they tell you about that? Uh, okay. <laughs> Moving on, your room also comes with an area to manage your palicos gear and it's your bed. One thing, if you need access to the training area, come talk to me. I'm here to learn a port 24 7. Being too pretty, no, it doesn't mean. Eh, most under cat puns never get old. Okay, let's freshen up on some of the moves from the training area. Weapons move set. If you like to try different weapons, just head to the item box. Ammo and cooling tabs available to try out. You think that many other guys over here will not deplete any stock you own? Nice. So, Oru Iku, Bemir. Uh, hold on. That. Should I end? Should I change the? Wait, I can't save yet. Brief openings. Why? Why? Uh huh. Red. Basic combos with red extract stock. Slam. Double swipe and then. Horizontal swipe. Uh, I'll I'll, f I'll need to look up the uh, move set videos later on. Uh, can I change language? 
I mean, I don't, I don't want the Monster Hunter language, but the voice clips are much shorter, so the messages disappear much quicker. Can't quit yet, so I guess I'll leave. Can't go home. Save. Stockpile, group on unit. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads, and the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! Over here! Lift, okay. Lifts are open. Habitat. I'm going to call a certain number that I noticed. What are we hmm. waiting for? The new mm -hmm. world awaits. Quests and follow up checks are just slaying monsters, I guess. Quest. Accept. Assignment. Okay. These are key quests, story related. Optional quests. There's no favor for NPCs. These special quests are issued by the resource center in a limited number of times. Mm -hmm. We deploy that until preparations of the quest are complete. Grab a meal, store up with supplies, get the gear, get the equipment, organize your items. On the screen quest and once you prepare press select okay member status menu standby for departure while part for uh, the tutorial being meals can boost stats mm -hmm. it skills of probability of being activated use fresh ingredients to raise the probability that the meal effects are not saved Meal effects end when the overlooking happen. Complete a quest, return from a quest, or faint. You can eat again at the camp after about 10 minutes. And you'll look at eat again after fainting. Carry over when starting a quest during an expedition. Or, ah! Okay, they carry over. I'm switching from an expedition in one locale to another. Ah, okay. Oven roasting cooks food over the time it takes to complete one quest. For example, you oven roast some raw meat, whatever they can find a ration. You have to collect your cooked food. We don't have any points yet. Okay. Play with money. Meat platter. Yeah, sure. Why not? Tutorial edit. 
let me adjust the radial menu a little bit. Mm, shortcut one. That's the uh, general, I think. Mm hmm. how I did it. Potion. This, this here is the ration. Where I put the book? Uh, currently, what I need is just I don't need a lot. Antidote, I should probably bring that one. Uh, not, uh, it's not necessary yet, but it will become necessary soon. Hold on, one. One thing the game doesn't tell you is that uh, when you save uh, item loadouts, it saves the current radial menu setup as well. So, yeah, use that to your that to your convenience. Objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two, use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. Oh yeah. And the supply items are the ones marked with these white uh, signs. And they do not carry over uh after yeah they're just left discarded after each quest but while you're you know in the quest you can get you can use it instead of your own stock so that you have more items to use and which is helpful because uh the, the number of the amount you can take for an item it's kind of limited Okay. Oh. Wanna get going? Uh huh. Shepherd mm. hair. Be careful. Oh. OK, 
okay i need to fix that uh option controls radial menu settings release our right stick to select an item no the system press our right stick to select the item that's the good one ah hold on Um, no, no. Camera speed. Very fast. Oh. All direction. Direction. Uh huh. Focus now. Target camera. Just one large monsters only. Target one holes. Uh huh. That's good. Now, might hide. Settings, no lock on. Main dynamic camera. Set settings. Section of character, camera distance. Far. Okay. Not that big a difference, but. Build menu settings. Uh huh. And control. Let's, uh, yep, now this is the one I'm used to. Yeah, ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. There. Hmm? Revulture. Oh, there's a fish pond over here. Let me go check. We do have a fishing rod, but I I do the lazy way. I do the lazy and race a little bit. There we go. There we go. Pink Brexits. Uh, the the uh, net fishing it drives away all the other fish uh, in the pond. Well, briefly, you you leave them alone a little while and they'll come back. But yeah, <laughs> I, I just prefer net fishing over uh, the fish fishing rod. But uh, if you if you intend to catch all the fish in the pond, then it's better to use a rod. We're going for the jog rod, right? You can and gather honey the and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Yes, I definitely need mega potions. Because those are one those are the ones that are, you know, actually worth the damn. Over here. Like potion is fine, but and really soon like they just cannot keep up. Keep up with the threats and damn damage. You're up against. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. Oh. Uh. No? They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use a There we go. And hey, a mining note. Macalite ore, iron ore, and bone pile. Mm, 
this is just a uh, spore puff. Uh, it creates a temporary smoke cloud that you can hide in. Whoops. Hello. Use whatever you can. There we go. Ah. Jesus, how many chakras are there? <laughs> Make sure to carve the uh, carcasses uh, before they disappear. They last, uh, they last long enough compared to uh, <laughs> compared to what I've played in like Monster Hunter Generations or other Monster Hunter games, really. But they do still have a time limit. So. the take all button <laughs> that was this thing is not in the ps4 version helical level raised gadget proficiency nice Can do a network. Come on, <laughs> we have to check all the time. to session members. We don't have session members. Now depart on quest with other players via online. Turn on voice chat function now, and maybe later. All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? And listen up. Hunting. 
What this world needs is harmony. Okay, cast it on. For those, I want to go with the blunt weapon. Game release item pack. Good. Sell items, sell all traded items. Equipment. Oh, I can already change appearance. Oh, no. Uh, I can change hairstyle, eyebrows. Oh, eyebrow color. Okay. Makeup and clothing. Not a lot, but... We can we can capture those small critters and just have them in the house as pets. Way too popular with your roommate. Use a dungbill friend. <gasps> uh, please your pets. I've heard hair. There we go. That's safe enough, right? Or revolter. Hmm. Let's go with the bird. It's much bigger and easier to notice. Looking for add on content. Fair wind charm. Ah! I don't know how that works. Red and armor set has already been taken. Ah! I can equip it. Uh, attack boost and divine blessing. Good enough. There we go. Uh, hey. Working hard. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Oh, oh hello. Give another hunter. Yeah, that's pretty much the online room. We can fish. It's a nice <laughs> Materials and ore to forge and upgrade weapons. Uh, gives the materials you want to wars or car from monster. Upgrade. Uh, here we go. Select the weapon and use the material to upgrade. Uh huh. With the curse and press to edit your wish list. Once you acquire all the necessary materials to create a wish list item, you'll receive a message. Iron ore. Iron ore is pretty cheap and easy to come by, so 
Let's upgrade that. There we go. And... War's equipment, upgrade equipment. Equipped, uh, wait. Equipped? Yes. Piece of armor has a level. You can use armor spheres to gain points. That's how to level up. Okay. We only have two. Uh, Forager's luck. What does that do? A skill. Regular rare gathering point spawning. That's does it have? Oh, it has no skills. I guess. Weapon and then probably the all common creative equipment. Huh? Equipment skills, multiple get a share skill skill level with the sum of his skill level. Uh -huh. uh, for equipment armor. Another Jamie Hunter and Bone. Uh Bone set is actually pretty good early on and it's uh it has yeah, it has the slugger skill, which makes it really good for blunt weapons. Uh, Horn Maestro. Yeah, slugger and Horn Maestro. They, these two skills alone, they make it like perfect for uh, hunting horn and also hammer. Entomologist, slugger attack boost, health boost. But what I'm looking for is scout fly. No, where's the scholar one? Where is it? No. Your hunter. And hound. Sand hound is. Each fill rate by 50. Sure. Ah, under set. Leather and chain is always weak, but. Okay, so the origin armor set is. Now it has the same def total defense as Bone and Hunter. That's not much, <laughs> but I guess it's more for uh, fans, old fans, like the Dumper. Uh, versus Fire. Actually, yeah, I kind of want to have this. I kind of want to have. This in the wish list. Ancient bone monster. Kestered on shell. Okay, that's in that. Kestered on shell and ancient bone. Okay, we need a lot of monster bones. Some ancient bones. With palico equipment, leather, bone, and alloy. Oh, 
Oh, I need points for those. Okay. Uh, do quests later, I guess. Ignore almost here. Man. Greetings. Even off the land. We want to do them like flying monster attack there. There's not a welcome. Speak to the handler. for this ah. I come on do it mm -hmm. <laughs> you can pick up quests from the quest board too it lists the same quest that I've got so don't worry about having to check two places Oven roast. There we go. If you scale chakras high, raw meat. I just get four rations. But what about sushi fish scale? Oh wait, no. Sushi fish scales are actually kind of valuable, so I don't want to waste them yet. Vouchers. When lucky vouchers are used when posting quests, you will receive bonus rewards upon completing the quest. Be sure to use vouchers. Whenever you have this random quest rewards are random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Reward money doubles. You want to log in bonuses. One voucher delivered each day, and you can claim up to five days worth vouchers. You can only carry a maximum of five at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> the, the quest loads immediately. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, our job is to call a certain number of Kestodon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Wanna get going? That's Kestadon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Huh. Yeah, the Kestadon's uh, head is really hard, and if you hit it head on with a sharp weapon, it just uh, it can uh, reduce sharpness very quickly, and also you know start bouncing. The weapon starts bouncing off, the, which is why I brought the hammer. There. Uh, Castrodon. Uh, male Castrodons are bigger, so they can be carved twice. Right. Let's look for another group. 
There we go. Full bone vibrators, materials gathered. The Castadon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. Uh, 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 uh. life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Ah, damn it. Okay. Let's go for another lazy fishing. Sushi fish. Yeah, I'm happy. Sushi fish scales are actually really good. Over like, here. you eat them like. There's no long eating animation. You consume them immediately, and they recur they treat bleeding as well. So they're a very uh, they're an easy to find quick fix. I like it even better than potions. <laughs> uh, there we go. Be careful. Boom! Oh! <laughs> okay, even the hammer is starting to bounce. something Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with <laughs> Now, now! Gotcha! All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the Great Jagras quest later. Uh, we'll just do it now because <laughs> Great Jagras is literally the easiest monster in the game. Go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal it. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Wiggly Lichi, uh, it maximizes the stamina bar and increases stamina recovery rate for a limited time, and they last quite a bit. Okay, we've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. And where?
You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the target camera. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. There! Love it. Mounting the monster. Now's your chance to top us. Boom. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. There. as a guide and will lead you right to him. There, another mount. Oh snap, it's almost dead. Oh, wait, I don't <laughs> I don't have to capture it, so it's okay. Over here because I'm greedy. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. That's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. Oh, 
Okay, let's give it a solid, good solid wake up. Oh, no. There. I think we got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. There's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? I see. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. The resource center is right over. Oh, Bone Vambrace. Hmm. Oh, eh, we'll talk to them first. Oh, you are too good to me. Secure the campsite. 
Two hundred overseas register required. Now to do bounties need to register. Delivery bounties can be completed just by handing in items. Investigation. Check the resource center. Resource bounties. Missions you complete over the course of your critical bounties and administer bounties. Our critical bounties are accepted automatically. Lizards, resist bounty list is updated when you return from a quest. Limited bounties, limited time only. Okay. Honey. Honey. Bone piles. Uh, large monster hunt. That's good. Uh huh. Small monster calling someone. Okay. Let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. Uh, okay, that's enough test run for tonight. So I'll be stopping the stream now. And uh, <laughs> uh it'll take several, like a lot, lots and lots of hours to get to the point where where I had my...